popular verse with many Christians is Romans 8.37. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. The way that verse is often used is that we are more than conquerors and therefore we will overcome whatever the affliction might be. However, there are days when things aren't going so well and I may not feel so victorious. Life has its challenges and struggles. We don't always swiftly see the victory and sometimes the resolution that we want doesn't come at all can cause you to wonder, what's wrong? Am I not believing God? So what does this verse mean? Is it a promise that I will quickly be delivered in all situations from any affliction that I am suffering? We need to look at this verse to read it in its context. Let's start with Romans 8, 18. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed in us. And Romans 8.28 And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. All things work together for good? Does that mean that everything works out well and is pleasant and easy? Let's start in Romans 8, 31. What, shall, what then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also with him graciously give us all things? Who shall bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justified. Who is it to condemn? Christ Jesus is the one who died. More than that, who was raised, who is the right hand of God, who indeed is interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? As it is written, for your sake we are being killed all day long. We are regarded as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. The promise is that nothing we will suffer will be able to separate us from the love of God. In January 2022, I had open heart surgery. Surgery on Wednesday, they released me from the hospital on Monday. Thursday night, I was back in the hospital due to adverse drug reactions that caused fainting. Friday, my heart was going through all kinds of weird AFib beating. And they said, no, we think we'll take you off the drugs. We think we've got this under control. And then Friday at 5 p.m., end of the day, my heart went to an AFib episode for like an hour. I had three nurses looking at a monitor, monitor quite nervously. And I think, man, I don't know what I'm getting out of here. But I prayed. I said, God, I don't know what's going on. I can't control what my body's doing. And God gave me a picture, sort of like in the movies where you see like the pan from the top of the set where you look down on the movie set. And it was my hospital room. He saw me in the bed. He saw everything that was going on. And basically, I had the sense, I am here with you. I see you. I know everything that's going on. And I care. And with that, I had peace. 
I was not separated by the love of God by my circumstances. He was there with me. And literally I said, I don't know when I'm going home. I don't know what's happening. I can't control it. But I'm going to drink water, go to the bathroom, and try to get some sleep because those are things I can do. And it worked out. I actually did end up going home the next day. But I will never forget the peace that I had because even in that situation, when I didn't have the answer, I wasn't even sure exactly what to believe for, I knew that God was with me. I was not separated from his love. So, we will suffer. There are plenty of verses that talk about suffering being part of the Christian life. But even in the midst of the suffering, we can be sure that God is still there, that he is with us, that he sees, and he cares passionately about us because of his love. And in every situation, he is working all things for good on our behalf.